Hello everybody. Today I'm going to present our research on multidimensional probabilistic regression or imprecise data streams. And this work is collaborated by USTC and AAU. This is the agenda of this talk. First, we are going to introduce some background information. This is introduction of background. In the context of WOT, Web of Things, WOE, Web of Events, and the Web of Energy, etc., massive volumes of streaming data are continuously and automatically generated from various sources in outlying infrastructures, such as sensor networks, RFID devices, GPS, and so on. The stream of sensor data so serves as the backbone of emerging smart applications, such as smart warehousing, smart buildings, and smart cities. Therefore, the real-time monitoring and analyzing of the streaming data are important in intelligent WOT and WOE event processing and decision making. Web OLAP has been successfully used to analyze semi-static or, or semantic linked web data and even semi-static WOT data, but not for streaming data. On the other hand, the streaming mining and analytics is becoming increasingly important in the web community. Thus, there is a met need to extend current WOLAP technologies to imprecise streaming sensor data from WOT devices. Also, the streaming data in WOT and WOE applications are often imprecise and inaccurate, the so-called veracity challenge. According to existing literature, data imprecision in WOT environments is inherent and is caused by many reasons, including measurement inaccuracies interpolation errors, and transmission lattices. Nevertheless, in WOE, events are usually non-deterministic due to the unreliable data sources and networks. Existing works model the data in precision in the form of probabilistic data models. The, our target is to support WOLAP in such settings where data are of multiple dimensionalities and in precision, the so-called veracity challenge, and the streaming natures, the so-called velocity challenge. Existing works use probabilistic modeling to capture the data in precision. And uh, the data in precision is represented by probabilistic distributions, where each object has multiple possible instances due to the multiple possible values caused by uh, measurement errors or multiple readings caused by signal bouncing. Each instance of an object has multiple dimensions and a measure value associated with a probability mass function, a PMF in short, indicating the possibility of its appearance. For example, object O1 has two possible instances, S1 and S2, with probability 0.6 and 0.4, respectively. The probabilistic data streams can be modeled as a sequence of imprecise objects. Each object is paired with a time step, indicating the arriving time. In addition, each instance of our object has its dimension attributes, for example, locations and types in this example. A mirror, for example, the uh, temperature or humidity, and a probability, as aforementioned. mentioned. And conventional multidimensional regression of a precise data stream is fundamental in underlying streaming data analytics. Regression is the basis of, of our research and the regression is a study of dependent variables on independent variables. Now we give the regression equations as follows. So where a series of data items can be summarized as a regression line with slope eta and intersect theta. And this is the equation for conventional uh, regression for streaming data. In our work, we extend the multidimensional regression of precise data to support multidimensional imprecise data. And based on that, we propose the concept of probabilistic regression line. Differently, a probabilistic regression line is represented by a set of triplets, where each triplet consists of a slope, an intersect, and its existence probability. We show an example to give intuitions about probabilistic regressions. The left-hand side table shows a time series of four objects arriving at different time steps, and each object has multiple instances following probabilistic distributions. The result of probabilistic regression is shown as the figure below. 
which has multiple probabilistic regression lines. Since we are doing multi-dimensional regression, we should consider the regression aggregation on different combination of dimensions, which is shown in the figure on the right-hand side. Each row of the table corresponds to a combination of dimensions, which can be considered as a group by, and is called a cuboid in data warehousing. Each tuple within a cuboid is called a cell, which is a probabilistic line. If we aggregate the probabilistic regressions of multiple dimensions and multiple granularities, we can get data cube for supporting WOLAB analysis, as shown in the right figure. For example, there are four cuboids or four group bytes, and the cuboid on the location type dimensions has two cells, C1 and C2. Cell C1 is for the attributes US level 1, and cell C2 is for the attributes UK and level 1. A probabilistic regression line can be obtained by possible word semantics, which is a basic for probabilistic databases. With possible word semantic, we can transform a probabilistic time series into a set of non-probabilistic time series, and then perform conventional regression on each of them. For example, the table shows a probabilistic data stream consisting of two objects, O1 and O2. Each of the objects has two possible instances. Thus, there can be four combinations as shown in the right-hand side table and formulating four conventional time series. Each time series is with a probability and putting forward the probabilistic regression line. For example, the probability of possible word W1 is 0 0.3, which is derived by instances S1 and S3, whose probabilities are 0 0.6 and 0 0.5 respectively, so their product is 0 0.3. Despite the semantic comprehensiveness of PWS, the computation cost is uh, very high. If there are n objects, each with m instances, there can be m to the power of n possible words, which makes the aggregation infeasible in any case, in particular for the real-time stream processing. So far, we can summarize the challenges as follows. The main challenges are veracity challenge and velocity challenge in multidimensional regression and materialization. For veracity challenge, we consider probabilistic modeling to cover the representation of data in precision in streaming data and use possible word semantic to ensure the theoretical correctness. For velocity challenge, as we have analyzed, the computational cost is high. That allows aggregation is to be performed for multiple cells and cuboids for the data cube construction. So it would require extensive space and time. To tackle that, we present a convolution-based method to process the probabilistic regression in polynomial time. It satisfies PWS so that the correctness is guaranteed. Further, we offer alternative aggregation of regression called a sketch-based regression, which approximates convolution-based regression in linear time. Next, we proceed to discuss the techniques proposed in this work, including convolution and sketch-based methods. This is a framework of our work, which consists of three parts. The first part is online probabilistic regression, which includes convolution and sketch-based regression. The second part is popular path materialization. And the third part is exception-driven queries based on the probabilistic regressions, where sketch-based pruning can be used for efficient query processing. Now we introduce regression methods. First, we show the convolution-based regression. We know that a conventional regression line can be represented by a slope-intercept pair, and a probabilistic regression line is represented by a set of regression lines with a probabilistic distribution. And uh, it is called the convolution because updated operation is for two distributions, the distribution for the regression line and the distribution for an object. Depending on whether the new object belongs to the original time window, we can define two operations. If the object is within the time window of the regression line, it refers to the intra regression operation, otherwise it belongs to the extra regression operation, and we use the examples to explain these two regression cases. For the intra regression case on the left hand side, the original probabilistic regression line is formulated by objects O1 to O3. The incoming object is O and the time step is within the time window of the three objects. So we can define the intra regression for this case. For the actual regression case on the right-hand side, and the new object's time, time step is beyond the original time window of the two objects, O1 and O2, so we define another form of equation for this. We would like to point out that the correctness of the equations can be guaranteed by possible word semantics. Please refer to our paper for more details about the equations and the proofs. 
Now we analyze the cost of the operation. We can see that if the object has m instances, the convolution time cost of two objects takes m square time cost, and the convolution of n objects takes m square n square time time cost. And the time efficiency can be improved to m square n square log m n if a two-dimensional fast Fourier transformation is used. And it can be simplified as n square log n if m is treated as a constant. With intra and extra regression, we can achieve real-time processing of streaming data. We choose to materialize the cuboids on the popular paths to save time and space cost, which is a common setting of streaming OLAP. The popular path is used to define paths from a lower to upper level of cuboids. For example, a path can be from or via location star to location type cuboid. Since the polynomial time cost of the convolution-based methods is still costly, if the number of objects is big, it may not satisfy the requirements of real-time processing. Now we study sketch-based regression for fast approximating the regression result and process online updating with only linear time cost. We know that cumulants can be considered as alternative representation of probabilistic distributions. We choose the first and second order cumulants, which can also be called as mean and variance. Because regression is a joint probabilistic distribution, the variables eta and theta are not independent, and therefore we also need to calculate its covariance. So similar to the convolution-based regression, we study the intra-regression and extra-regression for the space-based regression method. The equation is shown as follows. The correctness of the equations is guaranteed by the possible word semantics. Please refer to our paper for more details. Next, we introduce the probabilistic exception queries, or PEQ in short. Because the data are probabilistic, the query evaluation should also be probabilistic. And the query PEQ is to find the regression result whose qualification probability is above the threshold. And the equation of the qualification probability is shown as follows. A cell is called an exception cell if its qualification probability is above the threshold. And to derive the probability, we need to process the integrations over the PMFs. Since the integration is somehow expensive, we derive normal sketch-based pruning techniques to approximate the query result. So we use cumulants to get the upper and lower bounds for approximating the PEQ qualification probabilities. If a cell's lower bound is above the probabilistic threshold, it qualifies for the PEQ, and the cell is considered as an exception cell. Otherwise, if the cell's upper bound is below the threshold, it definitely cannot be the exception cell. Next, we show the experimental results. We consider two real datasets for our experiments, and for each dataset, we create probabilistic distributions following normal distributions for each object. We first examine the result on the regression aggregation. We can see that the time and space costs increase with the number of objects. The convolution-based regression increases polynomially, and the sketch-based regression increase linearly with respect to the number of objects. Now we show the performance of the query processing. We can see that the query execution can be finished in a short time, and it can also be further accelerated by the sketch-based pruning. And similar observations are obtained on different datasets on different experiments by varying the parameters tau p and tau eta. We examine the performance of the throughput in handling streaming objects. We can see that the convolution-based method handles hundreds of objects per second, and sketch-based method handles thousands of objects per second. And system performance is stable on different datasets on different lengths of popular paths. Next, we conclude the paper. To conclude the paper, we propose the problem of multidimensional regression over probabilistic data streams, and we define the operation of probabilistic regression. In particular, we study convolution-based regression, which can be finished in polynomial time, and we study sketch-based regression, which can be finished in linear time. Based on that, we study online materialization and the probabilistic exception queries which can be further accelerated by the sketch-based pruning. We conduct experiments on synthetic and real datasets to support our proposals. Thank you for your attention. Hello, everybody. Today, I'm going to present our research on multidimensional. Thanks. Right.
Um, I think you can hear me and Rangao is available for questions, right? Thanks a bunch for the video recording. Yes, yes. Um, can you hear me? Yes, works well. Um, Are there any questions in the room? Yeah, may I ask a quick question? Of course. Oh, yes, yes. Okay, uh, so you assume there's a probabilistic modeling for the regression part. Do you assume any probabilistic distributions, let's say Gaussian or any other probabilistic distributions for your modeling? Thank you. Um, 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 maybe um, um, I'm not an English speaker, native speaker. Um, um, can you speak slowly? Oh, so sorry. Uh, do you assume any probabilistic distributions inside your regression modeling? Let's say this, are you assuming Gaussian distributions or normal distributions in the modeling? Thank you. Oh, oh uh, that's a good question. Uh, first, uh, thank you your, uh, thanks for your question. Uh, then uh, in um, a probabilistic uh, data, uh, um, um, probabilistic data size and data. Uh, we use the normal, um, um, normal probabilistic um, uh, distribution uh, set. Um, 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 